Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another episode of Street Style where I style a particular piece of clothing five different ways. And in today's episode, I'm going to be styling the iconic but simple white hoodie five different ways. Yes, guys, I know some of you are asking for this. You are like, ah, Daniel, I want another street style episode. And, and the reception for the first episode was actually really, really good. So if you haven't watched the first episode, the first episode was where I did a uh, sweater. It didn't specifically say a black sweater. It was just like generically sweater. But this time around, um, I, th I just feel with a white hoodie in particular, you have to kind of specify a white hoodie because hoodies in various different colors can be styled in so many different ways. And I felt like there were five unique styles specifically for a white hoodie. So I felt like I had to do a video for just the white hoodie. Now, obviously, some of these styling methods will work for hoodies of other colors, um, but obviously, I'm just going to try and do it for a white hoodie here today. Now, keep in mind that the way that I'm going to style these, the five different ways, is very much catered towards my aesthetic. So maybe none of the ways that I style it will appeal to you, but some of them might actually give you some, you know, inspiration or make you go out there and try a new style. That's the whole aim of this series. That's the whole aim of this series, just to give you five ways of doing it and maybe give you some ideas. But then again, as I said, you may just absolutely hate my aesthetic and be like, this is lame as hell. <laughs> and not like it that's totally fair that's totally fair but i wanted to do it and hopefully it'll help some of you guys out there now if you want me to do another episode of street style you know maybe on a particular piece of clothing in a particular color or just a particular piece of clothing in general it doesn't matter the color let me know in that comment section below i can definitely do that you know leave a big old like on this video let me know down below you know black hoodies golden hoodies light blue hoodies i could do it i would just have to get a golden hoodie or a light blue hoodie <laughs> but you know it, it could be done it could be done um and yeah i can definitely attempt that for you and don't forget also subscribe today because we are trying to hit 2425 subs before the end of july um we're very close it is also very close to the end of july though so hopefully we can reach that milestone share the video around and hopefully we can hit that before the end of july but let's move on let's move on so let's move on to styling option number five for the fifth way to style a white hoodie. Now for styling option number five, we have an iconic style that is coming back. It was big in the 90s. I think it definitely should, be come, should come back because it's actually quite underrated. And that is double denim. So double denim. I know you're thinking, oh, that sounds kind of shaky. You know, I don't know how that's going to turn out. I'm going to showcase it to you today. So. With double denim, working with a white hoodie, ideally you want the denim jacket and the denim pants to be the same color and also the same, I guess, um, like the same in regards to if it is, you know, completely distressed or if it is not distressed at all. Because if you have a distressed jacket, distressed jeans working alongside it, works really really well but if you have a distressed jacket and not distressed jeans it kind of looks a little bit funky it still can work if the jacket's distressed and the like the jeans are not but personally i think distressed denim jeans with a not distressed denim jacket looks a little bit odd but first i'll showcase the first color that i have for you when it comes to uh double denim which is of course black iconic right so we have the white hoodie, which is pretty basic, you know, it's got a small graphic on the chest, but that's about it. Showcased with black denim jacket, black denim jeans, and of course some Jordans on the side there. <laughs> but I think personally double denim is really overlooked. It's just a sick, thick way to style a white hoodie. And as you just saw, it works really, really well when you have like a graphic or something on the back of the denim. I think that's like a really sick way to like add some little finishing touches to it. Um, I, I think double black denim will be more preferable for a lot of you guys because doing blue double denim is very hit or miss for a lot of people. I can understand, I can understand. Black is a lot easier to wear. You can wear it with more things. But this is black with, uh, sorry, this is a white hoodie with double denim, double black denim. I think it's really sick. Uh, I'll also showcase to you guys right now 
it in double blue denim. And here we have styling option number five, double denim, but done in double blue denim. So I've still gone with light sneakers for the actual fit. I've gone for light blue denim matching on the upper and bottom. Works really, really well. White hoodie staple works really, really well with the fit. I mean, it literally just, it adds a little bit of breaking up in the double denim. It just works. I think, again, having a graphic on the back of it just adds that little bit of pop. And if you have a graphic that's like white like this, with the white hoodie, I think that could work. I think that could work really, really well. Um, you don't need more than that. You don't even need a graphic on the back of it, but I think having a graphic on the back of the denim jacket kind of shifts it away from less of a 90s looking fit and more of a modern looking fit by having the graphic on the back of it. Because if it didn't have the graphic, this would just be like blue denim with nothing else on it and then a white hoodie. You know what I mean? I think the graphics either on the hoodie or on the back of the jacket breaks it up a little bit. But for styling option number five, you can either have double denim in the black or blue. You can go a little bit crazy. I mean, you could go get like red denim, I suppose. You could get like different colored denim. But the problem is, is that when you divert far further away from blue denim or black denim, it gets harder and harder to find an accompanying bottom or an accompanying top piece that works with it and is the same tone or color. If you can buy it like a two piece where it's like the jeans and the upper in the same time, problem solved. But I wouldn't deviate too far away from double blue or double black denim. Either way, it absolutely works. Sneaker wise, I mean, because you're wearing a white hoodie, I would try and go for something a bit lighter. You know, golden ones always work really, really well because there's like colors on them, but you can wear like Air Forces with this fit. You can wear Converse, that would also work. Converse is retro. It just works, man, and that is it. So for styling option number five, we have double denim in either blue or black. Now, maybe you're like, but Daniel, I, I have a white hoodie, I have light blue denim or black denim, but I, I, I can't justify an expensive uh, denim jacket, or I don't really like the fit of a denim jacket and how it looks with double denim. Is there any other jackets that I can do it with? Well, for styling option number four, I would say this is where thrifting really comes into play because you can pick up a lot of crazy stuff when you go thrifting. I would say at styling option number four, you can wear a white hoodie with a crazy jacket. And I'll just showcase that to you now with what I mean with that. <laughs> see, do you see what I mean? But also at the same time, is this not a vibe? Is like, look at this, the blue and the, ooh, blue, white, red, Red, blue, white. We got a little bit mixed up with that color there, but that's okay. Okay, so this jacket, wouldn't wear this one too much, but do you, I picked this up when online thrifting, I guess. I went to a couple of vintage places and I'm like, yo, that's the one. Um, don't wear this one too often, not gonna lie, but I think it's a, because the white hoodie is just like this base canvas. It's like a blank piece of paper. As soon as you splash a little bit of color onto it, changes the whole thing up but the dynamic totally totally works i just think this one works i think this one works especially with the red and blue uh sorry the red and white sneakers i think that works really really well uh we'll move on to the next jacket and see if you're feeling that one a little bit okay now this one i might even consider wearing with black denim pants instead this one i picked up just going through ebay it is a jeff hamilton Scarface jacket, easily one of my favorite pieces of all time. Crazy, that's what I mean by crazy. Just all over print, all over whatever. It's just got, it, they're really loud. That's what I mean by crazy for styling option number four. So with this, works pretty well. You've got huge graphics on it, but because of it being on top of a white hoodie, it just works. I mean, I, again, I would probably change up the jeans. I might even change up the color of the shoes because with Jordan 1s, with Chicago Jordan 1s. I don't know if the color works as well, but I wanna hear from you. Maybe you really like this jacket, maybe this jacket's more your thing, but that's another crazy one. I think I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more crazy jacket and then see if you like that one more or not. So again, we have another Jeff Hamilton jacket, another Jeff Hamilton jacket with an all over print uh, with applique basketball logos all over it so these actually pop out you can actually like fill them and stuff 
um, again, we have, because the white hoodie is so blank, because the blue denim jeans are so blank, there's nothing going on in them. The jacket is the loudest piece in the outfit. It draws the most attention. You're literally looking up here, you're looking at the chest, but the rest of the outfit just flows so seamlessly with the jacket, even though the jacket is just wild. It's got so much going on and that's why I do it. So just blue denim jeans, you know, you can go with some Levi's, whatever. I can't remember what these are. These definitely are not Levi's, but you can just go with some Levi's. Honestly, some white sneakers are the best that work with it. White hoodie and just a crazy, crazy jacket. Something wild, something that no one would have seen before. You can usually pick them up on eBay, uh, thrifting. Just go to your local thrift store. Go to your local thrift store, your local charity shop. You can find them. Just something that has an all over print, something that is just pretty damn wild. So it's styling option number four for a white hoodie. I'm gonna leave it at crazy all over print jackets. So we'll move on now. We'll move on to styling option number three. And I don't know, maybe if you guys aren't feeling number four, you might feel number three a little bit more. Now for styling option number three, we have a option that's more catered towards winter. It works in a more formal setting. It, it, it looks a lot better. It looks less street. And maybe that'll appeal to you guys. Maybe there's some guys that really like tailoring out there and you're not a fan of just all like the sports jackets that I just showed you, those crazy ones there. So I've got an alternative. This one you can also pick up at thrift stores and stuff like that. Uh, and it's really good. It's just like a staple. Everyone should have one in their wardrobe. They just work so well, regardless if you're small, big, big, small, a man, a woman, not conforming with any gender stereotypes. It works with everyone. It literally works with everyone. And that is, at styling option number three, it is the iconic trench coat. So, as I said, makes it a little bit more formal. Still works really, really well with the outfit. I would recommend getting a light colored one, a light colored trench coat, not something that's like too dark because you're wearing already a very light piece. If you're like me and you're wearing light blue jeans, you probably don't want a really heavy, dark colored jacket to ruin the whole flow of the outfit and same with the shoes you want shoes that are like lightly colored you don't want them that are super super dark you want something that's light i like to wear this when it's a lot colder i mean especially now i've been living in australia where it's winter <laughs> this outfit works really really well uh I, I honestly it wasn't until i started wearing hoodies with trench coats that i really fell in love with uh trench coats you can literally pick them up everywhere you can pick them up brand new from a lot of men's stores and women's stores they're quite expensive it's honestly worth just checking out your local thrift stores your local charity shops because they usually get chucked out there there's usually a lot of people that chuck them out there and you might be able to find a nice one that works really really well for you so at number three it's going to be the trench coat but i'll showcase to you maybe you liked option number four maybe you also want to combine it with option number three so i'm going to give you a little alternative there and that of course is the all over print crazy uh trench coat <laughs> i mean not a lot of people are going to be vibing with this i understand that and they're actually a lot harder to find than normal trench coats because i mean who wants to buy an all over print trench coat right only crazy people um yeah literally this just works exactly how it works with styling option number four it's literally just put it on top of some light stuff some basic looking stuff no crazy graphics on the denim no crazy graphics on the white hoodie just keep it basic because this is the craziness this is the craziness on the outfit you just want to keep it nice and simple crazy and just some basic sneakers basic simple sneakers nothing but crazy crazy colors just something simple white air forces if you have to white stan smiths you know white shoes just some basic stuff but that's another one. I'm going to tie that into styling option number three. I'm not going to make it another one. But yeah, that is it. An all over print trench coat. But basically like styling option 3.5. <laughs> if you want to combine styling option four and three together. I think this works really, really well. I'm super uh, like happy with this. It works really, really well in like autumn or fall. Just uh, especially this one here, but you can find all over print trench coats. They're just more uncommon. You're probably gonna have to actually buy it brand new because you're less likely to find all over print uh, trench coats in op shops. But I don't know, maybe you have amazing luck and you find one the next time you pop in. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that at styling option number three, which is the all over trench coat with this. Uh, let's move on to styling option number two then. 
and see what it is. Now for styling option number two, I'm gonna say the oversized sweater is the best way to go about it. And this one works really, really well in winter because it just gives you that extra layer. So you grab your white hoodie, you chuck a sweater over the top of it. It doesn't have to be a specific color. What the whole idea of the white hoodie is just to add a little bit of contrast around your neckline where it is. So this color could be dark, could be bright, but that white hoodie allows a little bit of pop of color. Uh, ideally, you want to match the top of this, um, you know, the color here, the white hoodie, with something like white sneakers. See, look at that. I, I don't even have to put them on, but it could just totally work, right? White sneakers with the white hoodie sticking out of the top of the, like, primarily dark outfit. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Now, as I said, you don't have to have this dark sweater like I do. You could have gone with something light. But regardless, if you go with a light sweater, dark sweater, whatever, seriously, the white hoodie with like just some white sneakers, it could be white Converse, white Air Forces, white Jordan 1 Lows. It just works with everything. It literally just works with everything. I love this fit. It's very, I would say, skater -esque. And that's my aesthetic, really. But maybe for some of you, it doesn't appeal to you and that's totally fine. Uh, let me know though. Let me know if you're a fan of styling option number two. I think it works really, really well to contrast it. So having the white and then the darker color, that's all right though. We'll move on to my final styling option and I'll showcase it to you guys. And drum roll please for the final styling option. Number one, this one, very 90s as well. I mean, obviously you can tell it kind of got like a 90s aesthetic, but it is going to be the sports, so hockey, uh, NFL, whatever, the sports jersey, honestly. So you can see the white hoodie popping out of the actual jersey that I have on. This isn't a team jersey, by the way. This is actually a DJ's jersey. You chuck it on with just some, like, jeans. But here's where it all comes together. Whatever color the jersey is primarily, try and get it with a white, um, with, sorry, try and get sneakers that is the primary color of the jersey and as two and is white as well so two tone shoes so in this case blue and white because i know the colors are a little bit off but it does actually work it looks a lot better in the sunlight as well you go with the blue and the white hoodie sticking out bam if your favorite team is an orange jersey with the white hoodie get yourself a pair of the syracuse dunks get yourself a pair of the um uh, the Kentucky Dunks, maybe this, the Kentucky Dunks might actually work really well with this one. The Kentucky Jordan 1s might actually work really well. But yeah, for the final styling option, the fi final street styling option with a white hoodie, it's going to be oversized football jersey, hockey jersey, whatever, whatever works. Honestly, I, I, I love this. I haven't worn this in just like a vibe. <laughs> but yeah, um, very, very 90s. Very, literally go watch a Tribe Called Quest video or a Mob Deep video and you're going to see them wearing an oversized hockey jersey. Not with the white hoodie, but that's something you can do. And that's it. That's all the five styling options that I had. I had the uh, double denim for the first one. We had crazy all over print jackets for number four. We had trench coats for number three and a little bit of a 3.5 with all over print trench coats. Uh, we had at number two, we had the uh, sweater, the sweater one, that's a vibe, that is a vibe. Chuck in knit sweaters especially, knit sweaters work really, really well. That was number two, and at number one, obviously, we have the hockey jersey here. I really want to pick up the Supreme Old Dirty Bastard um, one, the one that's blue. With this, yo, that would be a fit. I really want to pick that one up. It's actually under retail on Grailed and StockX at the moment. I might have to pick that up. But yeah, those are my five options. I can come up with some more. You just got to let me know in that comment section below. Leave a big old like on this video. Let me know, were any five of the options appealing to you or are they just not really your thing? Do you have your own suggestions? Um, let me know. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on any of the options down in that comment section below. <laughs> I'm a little bit warm from changing all those clothes there so quickly. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, seriously guys, if you don't own one, white hoodie. 
it's a champion one uh minimal branding if possible doesn't really matter too much on the graphic as you saw the graphic doesn't matter too much but ideally as blank as possible you can come up with some awesome awesome outfits with a white hoodie it's seriously an awesome piece and i mean they're always around because people don't like picking up white hoodies but it doesn't matter if you stain it once that's what stain remover is for uh, those are the five street style options that I gave you for a white hoodie. Uh, I can definitely do a part two if you want or a different piece of clothing. Uh, just let me know in that comment section below. But yeah, that was a lot of fun actually. <laughs> you know, coronavirus has been a while since I've had to like try on different outfits and like try different vibes and fits and stuff like that. So that was fun. But yeah, those are my five. Let me know if you like any of them. Let me know if you actually style yourself that way of any of the five ways that I mentioned. Or if you're just like, nah, that's all corny. Get that out of here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on it down in that comment section below. And if you want me to do like more street style videos with different pieces of clothing, um, different colored police pieces of clothing, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, comment in the comment section down below and subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for 2,425 subs before the end of July. Hopefully we can hit it. I mean, look, we're only a couple subs away. Share the channel around, subscribe today. We should be able to hit that milestone. But that's everything I've really got to say about uh, five ways that I style or five street styling ways to style a white hoodie. So until the next street style video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next unboxing video, guys, I'll catch you later.